yeah, yeah, yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies are teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. 
know it, do you know it all? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know it? History, history. Searching for the road to the way back We don't know our father's going way back Do you know it, do you know it all, oh, yeah Oh, yeah, 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 yeah We the chosen people, you say no way Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way Do you know it, do you know it all, oh, yeah Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Do you know your history, history Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history, history? Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Searching for the road to the way back We don't know our father's going way back Do you know it, do you know it, oh yeah Oh yeah, 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 yeah We the chosen people, you say no way Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way Do you know it, do you know it, oh yeah Oh yeah, 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 yeah Do you know your history, history Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history, history? Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back.
Kane, we're back, we're back, we're back. Welcome back to another episode of Our Hit History. History. Hit History Radio, radio show. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Oh, terrible, man. <laughs> we're back, we're thing, back. Man. It's been a while. Oh. My apologies. We've been traveling, visiting the schools, grand openings. So we've been away for a while, but we are back. We are back. We're back in um, the building. Yep, it's back in the building. So we are in the preliminary times of the Gentiles. The preliminary times of the Gentiles. All right. Um, we're going to open up Isaiah 7, verse 1. We left Last time we left off, weeks ago, we left off with uh, Tiglath Pileser III conquering Northern Kingdom and taking, a, taking them captive. So that's the, the first wave. Tiglath Pileser III. So we'll get into more detail. Also, how, um, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Took up Pilates the third. So we're going to go to Isaiah 7, verse 1. And <coughs> we're going to read to verse 18. Got a lot of reading today. Oh, snap. Yeah, there's a lot of reading today. The book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 1. Bring it and it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of Jothan the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, that resin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, king of Israel, went up toward Jerusalem to war against it, but could not prevail against it. So you it. had Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, and you had uh, resin, the king of Syria, rise up against mm -hmm. Judah when King Ahaz was reigning over Judah at this time. Go ahead. Have you read this before? I, showed, I think we went over this before in Kings. Um, 2 Kings 15, uh, I went into this in detail regarding um, how these guys conspired together. All right? So let's read on. Continue. Isaiah 7 gives more detail regarding it. Go ahead. And it was told the house of David, saying, Syria is confederate with Ephraim. Syria meaning resin. The king resin is, is confederate with Ephraim. Pekka. Pekka. Go ahead. And his heart was moved, and the heart of his people, as the trees of the wood are moved with the wind. He has a shook. Go ahead. Then said the Lord unto Isaiah, Go forth now to meet Ahaz, thou, and Sherejashatha, thy son. Sherejashatha, thy son. Go ahead. At the end of the conduit of the upper pool in a highway of the fuller's field. Go meet up with a Isaiah, go meet up with Ahaz and talk to him. And say unto him, Take heed and be quiet, fear not, neither be faint-hearted for the two tails of these smoking firebrands. Um, Syria and Ephraim. Go ahead. For the fierce anger of resin with Syria. And of the son of Ramaliah, because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Ramaliah have taken evil counsel against thee, mm -hmm. saying, Let us go up against Judah and vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us, and set a king in the midst of it, even the son of Tabiel. Tabiel, go ahead. So, so, so Syria and Ephraim got together to conquer Judah and to set their own king over them. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord God, It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. But the head of Syria is Damascus. The head of Syria is Damascus. So the capital of Syria is Damascus. Go ahead. And the head of Damascus is Rezin. And the king of Damascus, Syria, is Rezin. Go ahead. And within three score and five years. Sixty-five years. Shall Ephraim be broken, that it be not a people. And Ephraim will be broken, that it be not a people. Ephraim shall be broken, that they be not a people. Go ahead. Meaning the most high will turn them into what? Gentiles. All right. Go ahead. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria. And the head of Samaria is Ramaliah's so the son. Of, the head of Ephraim, the capital of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of them is who? And the head of Samaria is Ramaliah's son. Pekah. Go ahead. If you will not believe, surely you shall not be established. Don't be afraid or, you won't, or the Lord won't protect you. Go ahead. Moreover, the Lord spake again unto Ahaz, saying, Ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the death or in the height above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. Go ahead. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David, is it a small thing for you to weary men? But will you weary my God also? Go ahead. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Lord, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Right? Watch this. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. So, don't want, so the Lord will give you a sign. A virgin shall conceive and bear a son. Watch this. And shall call his name Emmanuel. The sign is the son, and he shall be called Emmanuel. The sign is not the woman. The sign is the child. That's why it says you shall call his name Emmanuel. And don't say her name. 
It says his name, Emmanuel, meaning what? God with us. So this child born during this time will be a sign that God will be with Judah during this situation regarding these two kings coming up against Ahaz. Now, this is prophetic. This is twofold, all right, because it's used again in Matthew regarding the, the, um, God being with us when the Messiah shows up, all right? Among who? Judah. Go ahead. So, Deacon, what we're saying is this Emmanuel was God manifesting in the flesh too? Right. We can't make this up. We can't make it up. Go ahead. Verse 15. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. Meaning understanding the laws of God. Go ahead. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and to choose the good. For before the child will have understanding of good and evil. Go ahead. The land that thou abhorrest shall be forsaken of both her kings. The land that you abhorrest will be Ephraim and Syria. These kings will be, before this child shall have understanding of good and evil, these kings will be gone. They will not be a threat to you anymore, to Judah anymore. Go ahead. The Lord shall bring up upon thee and upon thy people and upon thy father's house days that have not come from the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, even the king of Assyria. The Lord will raise up the king of Assyria. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall hiss for the, the fly that is in the uttermost part of the rivers of Egypt. And for the bee that is in the land of Assyria. He will bring Assyria. Now I saw one, verse 18. Now, let's go to chapter 8, verse 1. And we're going to read to 13. So we're going to skip down now. So the Lord says he's going to raise up Assyria. All right? Now, I mind you, during this time you had King Ahaz over Judah. He was the king. He was wicked as hell. All right? Um, and, and the Lord raised up. Ephraim and Syria against Judah because Judah started going the hell off. It started going following the same path as Ephraim was. All right? So chapter 8, verse 1. Watch this. Now, remember, it talks about the Lord will give Judah a sign. The woman shall bring forth the son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. That thought should not have been forgotten. And before this child shall have understanding of good and evil, these kings will be removed from, will be removed as a threat, and Ephraim will be broken, that it be not a people. Keep that in mind. Chapter 8, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 1. Moreover, the Lord said unto me, Take thee a great roll, and write it in with a man's pen concerning Mahashalachalabaz. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's a good wow. One. That's a set up, bro, bro. Wow. That's a, that's a good one right I'm there. I'm going to pronounce it. Yeah, it's so fast. Like, sound like. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's speaking real Hebrew. You see the, the trick yeah, to it. Yeah, that was no damn trick. That was you don't, you don't that was look at some, the words. No. You look at the beginning and the end of yeah, it, it and then figure it out. Man. <laughs> that was terrible, man. It's Mahalal Shat Mahalal Hashbaz. <laughs> Mar Mahar Mahar Shalal Shal Al Hashbaz. Oh, this guy won Mabba Chaba Laba. Right? That was crazy. Oh my god. That was crazy. That was Rashwan Kwadash, man. <laughs> yeah, that was real bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think oh, you should do something man. like that, man. Wow. <laughs> That was so good, girl. That was very good, man. Man. If, Dick, if Dick did this or nothing, man, you would have got away with it. Nah, nah. I, was, I wasn't letting that pass, bro. That was real bad. Oh, man. I was like, what? <laughs> Even me, I was like, I was like damn. Hey, hey, let's, real quick. Let's, let's get the difference. Let's see how the words pronounce. So let's type, type, type that in, please. Oh, my <laughs> Type that in, please. Oh, let's see, let's see if it's like what Captain Jarrell said. Oh. <laughs> uh, type it up. Type it up. Type up the name. Ma Maher Shalal Hashbaz. <laughs> Come on, Dick. Why are we doing this? Man? Nah, man. Why are we be, doing this, Dick? Nah, nah, man. I'm not letting you get away with that, man. Is that set up, brother? <laughs> nah, we're not going to wow. let you lie with that, man. That was real bad. Man. <laughs> you, can't really, you sound like you planned that one out, man. That was man. real bad. <laughs> God, see, I know it's coming. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. We should read on. <laughs> Deke, we should read on, Deke. Nah, man. I, I want to say this word pronounced. <laughs> you got an actor named Maharshal Ali. He has, he, he, he'll be the new, the new Blade. He, oh, has, he has half of the name. I think he was raised a Muslim. Oh, man. Maharshal, Maharshal Ali. He's going to be the new Blade in the Marvel movies. He has a, his name is similar to this one. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm crying. I'm dying. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the 
is the pronunciation. <laughs> See? It's my private interpretation. <laughs> this ain't even a dictionary thing at that. Oh, man. Hey, some people uh, spoke the Syrian Hebrew. <laughs> some people spoke nah, the man. Aramaic Hebrew. <laughs> nah, man. No. Different pronunciations. <laughs> Different locations. Brother spelling it all wrong. I can't get it. <laughs> Bruh. That's a crazy one right there. Crazy <laughs> name. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. You kill me. Moharshala Ali. <laughs> nope, that ain't the one. I'm gonna send it to you right now. Uh -huh. D, we don't have to do this, D. <laughs> no, it needs to be done. Uh, Yo, D uh, won't let it go. <laughs> nah, man. Oh gosh, man. <laughs> oh gosh. That was terrible, man. <laughs> Hold on. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Take it till you make it, baby. <laughs> Nah, man. Go, like, to I, go to group me. Um, the group me, right? The group me? <laughs> Hold on, send it right now. I sent the guy. Just go, go there. Go to that video. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to see if it's signed with what Gavin <laughs> Jarrell displayed earlier today. If it does. That was on point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so far, Cap, man, you, you look like you're going to be the winner, Cap, so far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I, I, Cap won yeah, me zero. Won. I got zero for that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it sounds close enough. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to start verse two, Deacon. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And I took... You don't want to read from verse one again? No, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> please. I, can't, I can't do it again. <laughs> All right, verse one. So you got you got a, a pen concerning this guy. Verse Cap, one. You, you got... beat Google, Cap. <laughs> you beat Google. Verse two. Verse two. <clears throat> oh, man. And I took unto me faithful witnesses to record Uriah the priest and Zechariah the son of Jerbachiah. Jerbachiah. That Jab one I know, Jeberakiah. <laughs> Jeberakiah. Uh huh. And I went unto the prophetess. She went unto the prophetess. Go ahead. And she conceived. And she she conceived. She got pregnant. And bare a son. Said the Lord to me, call his name. <laughs> <laughs> Verse four. <laughs> Push the Google button. So. <laughs> yeah. Mahala Hashbaz. Go ahead. Call his name Mahalas Al Asabas. <laughs> That's the longest name in the Damn. Bible. That's the longest name in the Bible. Oh, man. That's the longest name in the Bible, historically. It is. Go ahead, go ahead. For before the child shall have knowledge to cry, my father and my mother. Now, that going back to what? Good and evil. Go ahead. Understanding. Go ahead. The riches of Damascus. The riches of Damascus, Syria, resin. Go ahead. And the spoil of Samaria. Pekka, son of Amaliah. Go ahead. Shall be taken away before the king of Assyria. Assyria, go ahead. The Lord spake also unto me again, saying, For as much as this people refuseth the waters of Shiloh. Of Shiloh. Oh. It's Shiloh. Shiloh. Mm hmm. Why they have the R there? Well, it's Shiloh. We're still over. Shiloh? Yeah, Shiloh. Shiloh, I don't know. Shiloh? Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. Let's okay, go ahead. Shoot. Go ahead. Shiloh. It's Siloam. That's really Siloam. Shalom. Remember in Luke, Siloam, yeah. the tower? That's the same thing. Shalom, go ahead. Shalom, that go softly and rejoice in resin and Ramaliah's son. Mm -hmm. Now therefore, behold, the Lord bringeth up upon them the waters of the river, mm -hmm. strong and many, even the king of Assyria, mm -hmm. in all his glory. And he shall come up over his channels and go over all his banks. Meaning overthrow, overthrow northern kingdoms. Just going into, Pekka, not Pekka himself, but the kingdom, the northern kingdom. Go ahead. And he shall pass through Judah. He shall overflow and go over. He shall reach even to the neck. He shall so he shall go over Judah also. We shall up to the neck, but not not entirely. Go ahead. And the stretching out of his wings shall fill the breath of thy land. What? O Emmanuel. Oh God with us. Because Assyria was coming to rule and conquer. So God had to be with us when Assyria rose up. Associate yourselves, O ye people, and ye shall be broken into in pieces. And give air. All ye of far countries, gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together. Meaning Syria and Ephraim, go ahead. 
and it shall come to naught. It will not be as effective. Go ahead. Speak the word, and it shall not stand. Speak the word of a conquering Judah, and it shall not stand. Why? For God is with us. Emmanuel. Because the child that will be born, that Isaiah brought forth through his, through his wife, that child, the word <coughs> Mahal, Mahal Halal Shazbaz, it means quick to the plunder, swift to the spoil. That's what it means. It means quick to the plunder and swift to the spoil. Because they were quick to plunder, but they would be spoiled by Assyria. Those two are going to try to plunder Judah, but be swift to be spoiled. That's why it says back in verse, um, what's it at? In verse 4, it says, The riches of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria shall be taken away before the, before the king of Assyria. Quick to the plunder, swift to the spoil. So Isaiah's child, through his wife, was a sign that God was with Judah, and Ephraim and Syria would not be successful in overthrowing Judah. That's what it's talking about during this time, okay? But, oh, but the child was a sign that God was with them during this time. When the Messiah was born in, the, in Rome, well, during the time of Rome, the Messiah's birth was a sign that God was with us, with Judah, during that time. That's why Matthew referenced that scripture here in Isaiah 7, okay? Read on. So it was twofold. Go ahead. Verse 11. For the Lord spake thus to me with a strong hand, and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people. Don't be afraid like everybody else. Go ahead. Saying, ye shall not. A confederacy to all them to whom this, shall, this people shall say. A confederacy. You don't be afraid about the fact that these two are coming against them. Don't be shook like, I, like Ahaz is. Don't fall, don't fall behind their, their footsteps. Go ahead. Neither fear ye their fear. See that? Proven what I'm saying. Neither fear, neither fear ye their fear. Of, of, of who? Um, Ephraim and Syria overthrowing them. Go ahead. Nor be afraid. Why? Verse 13. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself, and let him be your fear. Let him be your fear. And let him be your dread. And let him be your dread. That's all I want. Now, get um, 2 Kings 15.30. So we're going back. To, it was the last time we left off. We left off at 2 Kings 15, verse 29. Like weeks ago, now we're going to Second Kings 15 and 30. Those of you, those of you um, who uh, are unfamiliar with that, go back and watch part two, all right, of the preliminary time of the Gentiles. Preliminary because the time of the Gentiles starts after Assyria falls. This, this, is the, this is the beginning stages of it. Second Kings 15 and verse 30. Israel, make sure we like and comment. Make sure you like, comment, as well as share. We have 403 people watching, but we only have 134 likes, all right? Make sure you click the thumb, the thumb button. 2 Kings 15, verse 30. We're going to stop at 38. 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 30. And Hoshea, the son of Elah, made a, a conspiracy against Pekah. Uh-huh. Now, remember what it said. It said that before... This child shall not refuse the good and the evil, or no mom and no his mom and father. These king, this these lands shall be forsaken of both their kings. So watch this. Read again. And Hoshiah the son of Elah. Read verse twenty nine. Verse twenty nine. And the days of Pekah, king of Israel. Uh huh. This, this is the son of Remaliah. Go ahead. King Tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria. Tiglath Pileser or Paul the third. Go ahead. And took Ejan, and Abel Beth Maka. And Janoah, and Kadesh, and Hazor. Not, not bad, man. That's good. Very good. Come you're on, right. Deke. You're come right. Come on, Deke. I'm not being sarcastic. That's good. Hey, that's on. Come, yeah, on, that's come on, Deke. Come on, Deke. Lazarus is back. Oh, okay. I don't, what? what? Who? It's been a while since I've been here. Oh, yeah, that's true. You've been a while. Yeah, that's you know true. I'm saying? Come on, Deke. Go ahead. And I Gilead. Know, I'm, I, I'm sorry that you had to suffer this one next to me. Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Wow. Go ahead. And Gilead. And Kadesh. And Hazor, and Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Natali, and carried them captive to Assyria. So it's the first wave of Ephraim being taken captive. Tiglath Pileser came first and foremost, took the first wave of Ephraim to Assyria, and Syrian provinces. Go ahead. And Hoshea, the son of Elah, made a conspiracy against Pekah, the son of Ramaliah. So I remember Pekah was the one that sided with Rezin, king of Syria, to overthrow Judah. While he's doing this, Ephraim, his own people, conspires against him to overthrow him. Go ahead. And smote him. And, Ho and Hosea has him killed. So Pekah is out the way. Go ahead. And slew him. And reigned in his stead in the 20th year of Jotham, the son of Uzziah. Go ahead. 
and the rest of the acts of Pekah, and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. In the second year of Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, king of Israel, began Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, to reign. Mm -hmm. Five and twenty years old was he be when he began to reign. And he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And his mother's name was Jersha, Jerusha, mm -hmm. the daughter of Zadok. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. And he did according to all that his father Uzziah had done. Mm -hmm. Howbeit the high places were not removed. The people sacrificed and burned incense still in the high places. Still doing idolatry. He built the higher gates of the house of the Lord. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? In those days the Lord began to send against Judah, Rezin, the king of Assyria, and Pekah, the son of Remaliah. And Jotham slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David his father. And Ahaz his son reigned in his stead. Okay. Second Kings chapter 16, verse 1. And in the seventeenth year of Pekah, the son of Remaliah, Ahaz the son of Jotham, king of Judah, began to reign. Twenty years old was Ahaz when he began to reign, and reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem, and did not that which was right in the sight of the Lord his God, like David his father. But he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, mm -hmm. yea, and made his son to pass through the fire. To idolatry, go ahead. According to the abominations of the heathen, whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel. What verse you in? Verse, um, verse 4 now. Hold on a second, hold on a second. I said to read to verse 38. Where you at? Um, I'm chapter 16. 16. No, that's just 38. I said it's 38. Yeah. All right. So verse 37. <clears throat> in those days the Lord began to send. Yeah. In those days the Lord began to send Judah against Judah, resident king of Syria, and Pekah of alive because Judah was dog going the hell off. And Jotham slept with his fathers, and Ahaz reigned in his stead. That's all I wanted. So now, get chapter, yeah, chapter 16, verse, you, start, you said 4, you said, right? Yes, sir. Uh, you're going to read to verse 9. Go ahead. You want to start verse 1? No, you can start verse 4. Keep going. Verse 4. And he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places, and on the hills, and under every green tree. And Ahaz is wicked as hell. Go ahead. Then Rezin this king... This is the same Ahaz in Isaiah 7, by the way. Go ahead. Then Rezin king of Syria and Pekah, son of Ramaliah, king of Israel, came up to Jerusalem to war. And they besieged Ahaz, but could not overcome him. Because why? God was with us. That's why they could not overcome him. Go ahead. At that time, Rezin, king of Syria, recovered Elath to Syria and drave the Jews from Elath. And the Syrians came to Elath and dwelt there until this day. So we lost part of Syria because Syria was part of our, was our land. We lost part of it. Go ahead. So Ahaz sent messengers to tiglath pileser king of Assyria, saying, saying, I am thy servant and thy son. Come up and save me out of the hands of the king of Assyria. So Ahaz got fearful and asked Tiglath-Pileser, the Assyrian king, to come up and to help him fight against these guys, help him fight against Syria. And Rezin, go ahead. And out of the hands of the king of Israel, which, ri which rise up against me. And Ahaz took the silver and gold that was found in the house of the Lord, and in the treasures of the king's house, and sent it for a present to the king of Assyria. It has paid the Assyrian king off. Go ahead. And the king of Assyria hearkened unto him. For the king of Assyria went up against Damascus. Rezin. And took it, and carried the people of it captive to Ker, and slew Rezin. And he killed Rezin. Go ahead. And king Ahaz went to Damascus to meet tiglath pileser king of Assyria, and saw an altar that was at Damascus. And king Ahaz sent to Urijah, the priest, the fashion of the altar, and a pattern of it, according to all the workmanship thereof. So I want. So he had. So basically, King Ahaz had Rezin killed. Okay. So before the child gained full understanding of wisdom, these kings was gone because Hosea had killed Pekah, and then Ahaz had Rezin put to death by the king of Assyria. So that that prophecy was fulfilled that these two failed in overthrowing Judah, based upon the prophecy of Isaiah. All right. So now. Proving that God was with us, despite Ahaz being the wicked as hell. It was not Judas, it was not Judas' time to fall yet. All right. Um, 
Get chapter 17, 1 to 3. Chapter 17, 1 to 3 now. Second Kings, chapter 17, verse 1. And the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Judah, began Hoshea, the son of Elah, to reign in Samaria over Israel nine years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, mm -hmm. but not as the kings of Israel that were before him. Right. So let's go to Hosea, the same Hosea that had that conspired against Pekah, had him killed, reigned in his stead. It's the same Hosea. Go ahead. Against him came up Shamanezar. Against Hosea came up who? Shamanezar. This would be Teglepheleser's son. Okay, go ahead. King of Assyria. King of Assyria. Go ahead. And Hosea became his servant and gave him presents. This is Shamanazar the fifth. This is Shamanazar the fifth. Go ahead. And the king of Assyria found conspiracy in Hosea, for he had sent messengers to So, no, king I'm, of Egypt. Wait, wait. Right, hold on a second, hold on a second. Uh, one to three. Let's stop at one to three. Go to um, Nelson's, page 131. Just stop it there. Stop at three. It's fine. Nelson's. We go into this book right here. This is Nelson's. I used to, I used to use this all the time. The book is very, very good. Um, it's called Nelson's um, Bible Maps and Charts, I believe. The complete something. I'll, I'll look on the screen. Uh, Nelson, the complete. Nelson's complete Bible Maps and Charts. It's very good. I used it. Actually, I, I taught Monday classes a long time ago. Uh -huh. I would use this book all the time. It's very good. I miss good. those classes. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate my job. Mm. This, this, right, <laughs> this can't do nothing. It went from no. cover me for three weeks to Forever. four years. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this yeah. thing, what yeah. happened? Yeah. Cap took over, Cap took over. Nelson's complete book of Bible maps and charts. It's very good stuff right here. Very, very informative. Pretty accurate stuff. I've come across thus far. I haven't had any, come across any errors yet. Um, so page 130, what do I want to get to? 131, and we're going to end at page 132, archaeologists. So we're going to start at during the period, and we're going to end at page 132, archaeologists. All right? Who's going to read? Abaddon going to read because he didn't do nothing else? Shoot. This guy, man. This guy is sitting here like, like a mute. Like Ernest Bruh. Sheik on the show. Dang. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's like weekend at Bernie's over here, man. Mm -hmm. Dead guy with the glasses, the dancing oh, music. Damn. Look at me, man. Look at me. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Damn. Yo. <laughs> That's Abaddon after every Sabbath class when he goes home alone. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> he sings to the microphone. Lord, why hast thou done thus to me? <laughs> why hast thou forsaken me? This is set up. Why do I start you in my chair? During broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, make, let's get page 131. <laughs> During the period, and we're going to end at page 132. Yeah, Mr. Ryan, right, man, he's going to write a song to that uh, beat. Damn. Oh, man. Go ahead. <laughs> During the period of Old Testament history from about 900 to 700 B.C., the Assyrians were the dominant world power. Mm -hmm. One of the powerful Assyrian kings, Shalmaneser III, reigned 859 to 824 B.C., erected a large stone monument on which he recorded his military victories. Mm -hmm. The impressive archaeological this find... Impressive. Sorry, this impressive. This impressive archaeological find, known as the Black... Obelisk. Obelisk. The Black Obelisk is a pretty much a, uh, uh, an inscription on, uh, uh, etched in stone of all his victories. Proven that the Bible is a true book because he etched all these things in stone. His their victories. The Assyrians are always etching stone, uh, actual like art, uh, drawings, artistic drawings etched in stone of their victories over kings. All right, go ahead. Called the Black Obelisk. Go ahead. Known as the Black Obelisk, contains a relief sculpture depicting the visit of King Jehu of Israel, mm -hmm. reigned 841 to 814 B.C., mm -hmm. to pay tribute to Shalmaneser. Right, to pay tribute, paying tribute to him. If you can't, give me, give me an image of Black Obelisk real quick. Of King, Japan, King Jehu, Black Obelisk. Is it like, almost like the lunar stone with the Issachar? Yeah, something, something like that. Um, this is a bit more detailed, though. Right, okay. It's more like, it's like, it's like, the, <coughs> like the Washington Monument, but it has, mm. like, Artistic sculptures of things of act of um events taking place. So black obelisk and um type in King Jehu. 
So that means all the kingdom of the earth had their records. Pretty much. Their accomplishment, exactly what they did. It should so Jehu so, giving tribute. Right. What are those pictures there? I think it's the so right there. The silver, I think it's a silver one. On the bottom. I think that's it right there. I think that cartoon right there showed it more clearly. The one about the one right there. Make sure that's the right one though. Load up some. Make sure that's it. Make sure that that's it, though. On this, this, any picture. It says, it says right here, Jehu, King of Israel. Yeah, it should say. Well, when it says it, click that one. Huh? Well, go back, go back, go back. You had it before. See that one right there, like uh, the goldish one? Just go back. Right there. See it? The first one? It says Jehu, King of Israel. Right yeah, the brown there. one, yep. So now if you go down in the bottom, hold on, hold on. If you go right there in the cartoon drawing, it's more clear right there. This that one. one. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's the same. It's, 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 it's more clearer. clearer. Mm -hmm. So blow it up. As far as it goes, all right. Well, you see Jehu on the floor bowing down. You see their garments are fringed. Fringes was a common practice among all the nations in the East, except we had a ribbon of blue on ours. That's the only common thing. Romans had them too. Everyone had people had fringes and stuff. That was a common thing. But ribbon of blue was what made us stand out among the rest. So you see Jehu, you see Jehu down there on his knees. Um, and you see the Assyrian king on to the left. That's that's edged in stone and the in the black obelisk right there, okay? That's him paying tribute. All right, that's uh, Jehu right there. All right, let's go out. Let's go back. Zoom in a little more. Back out a little bit. Okay. Placed outside the royal pla palace at Nimrod in Assyria. Uh, placed outside the royal palace at, at what? Nimrod in Assyria. Right. Then you know that Nimrod existed. Okay. It says uh, placed outside the royal palace at Nimrod. You had a man um, who, who died a long time ago named Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein had a palace. He lived in a palace. And his backyard was Babylon. His literal backyard. And he had a golden toilet. That dude had money. Yeah, he, had he did. Money. He had a golden toilet. Not only that, he had a golden uh, AK-47. Yeah. Hey, can we get a picture of Saddam Hussein's backyard? Yeah, get a picture of Saddam yeah. Hussein's backyard. The backyard is Babylon. Yeah, his backyard was Babylon. Yeah, he knew that too. And it he says the palace at Nimrod. Nimrod is Nimrod. This man is real. These people were real. Y'all can, my Bible's not real. Oh, you can say what you, say what you want. Bible's a real book. You ain't real. Yeah, the Negro, the Negro mind ain't real. Right. He prided himself in having the, that, that kingdom as his backyard. Yo, Esau's crazy. <laughs> they go to another man's country and overthrow them because they don't like his politics. How they treating the people. But look how they treat us. Mm -hmm. yeah. They policing, but they injecting. I'm talking about weapons of mass destruction. And that he was poisoning his people through gas. Yes, they say. Someone's always gassing somebody with Esau. Look, they gassing everybody now. Yeah. Could it be that one right Found it. To, uh, to my... You should just yeah. say it in the bottom of the picture. So it's Palace of Saddam Hussein. Yeah, Palace of Saddam Hussein. Right just type there. Click, just click that. Can it be that? No. It doesn't look like it. Well, just put uh, Babylon. Saddam Hussein back in Babylon. To say it. Go up, go up. No, down, down. What's that blue, blue thing right there? Yeah, this is it. Is that it? You don't have it. 
That's all right. Well, his backyard was definitely Babylon. Wait, wait, wait. Saddam Hussein Palace. No. No? You don't have images of it? <sighs> it's all right. Well, go back up. Let me see. What, what's that uh, on the left? Say Saddam Hussein, who taught he? I think we saw that already. Of King. So that's why we're here, right there. Yeah, I got to be right there. Yeah. That's it right so there. So he thought in his mind that he was Nebuchadnezzar. Mm-hmm. Go back, go back up to the writings. Yeah. You want to read that? Yeah, uh, zoom in a little bit. Fit for a tyrant. Inside abandoned Babylon built by Saddam Hussein, who thought he was reincarnation of ancient King Nebuchadnezzar. Damn. Damn. So the Bible's not real. Damn. Yeah, so he thought he thought he was Nebuchadnezzar. Go go up. Now let's see the Yeah, that's it. That, that's go. his palace. Yeah. Damn. That's Damn. it. How you, got you see the palm trees there? Yeah. Mm, that's that's their yep. Christmas trees. Mm. Yeah. That's your Christmas tree. Ancient ancient Christmas tree. There it goes. Damn. Palm tree. So there's, he, a old, there's a cartoon a long time ago called Futurama. They showed um, the Christmas tree. It, it was going back in time, and they showed a, tr- a palm tree with, with Christmas lights on it. That movie, that show had showed a lot of things. Yeah, it was a heavy show. That show was heavy. It was comical, but it was very... Yeah. It was, that's the same, the same makers as, as The Simpsons. Them guys is witches. Yeah. And th- that was straight uh, witches. That's a real, real witch. Witches. But they would show um, like depictions and stuff of things before it took place. Mm. Trump being president... A lot of stuff, weird stuff. Him walking a certain at a certain place at a certain time in the mall, waving high and all that stuff, and he did the exact same thing. Crazy. Mm. But that's the Amos Sain's uh, palace there. There you go, Nimrod. Let's go back. Let's talk about Hollywood for no reason. They even had one, uh, I think it was, uh, what the robot's name was Bender. The robot's yeah. robot name was Bender. Yep. And he got lost in space. And he's floating around in space, and he had these people... Land on his body, so he's floating around in space, and the people was like, "Oh, Bender!" They start worshiping him as a god. Then they got wise on the planet. I guess the pe- the people on his body got wise, and they got technology, and they nuked each other on top of him. It was crazy. It was it was crazy. That's the, that episode was great, but it just shows that he saw knows how they'll end. You know, he's supposed to be God. Then he then he meets God later on, but God's a bunch, God's a bunch of lights. It's nonsense, but. Yeah, it's good. And Deacon, I like in the book that I was reading yesterday, how um, when he was given the description of the, the statue, he's at the head, and the missile shall hit the head. Yeah, yeah, he says he said missile supposed to it's it's said, it's supposed to hit the head or the vital part, but rather it goes to the feet instead, which is mm. not normal. He said a missile though. A miss, he said missile though. He right. said missile, right? right. Yeah. Back then, it was an eighteen. Was an eighteen. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Eighteen ninety nine. So yeah. Did they have? The, they probably had that missiles already. I don't think my missiles by that time. But Probably small missile, not on top nah, of mine. Not that they have That's now, something. but he still made that reference, though. Mm. Where we at? Um, place, placed outside the royal palace of Nimrod in Assyria, uh-huh. the monument is more than six feet high. Mm-hmm. Chice led care- Chiseled, chiseled. Sorry. Chiseled. Oh, snap. Oh, Lord. Oh, snap. Chice like, led. Oh. Yo. Yo, Woo! Like, snap. Yo. It's, it's like a, listen to no, Sesame that's, Street that's hooked on phonics version. <laughs> oh, I don't remember what Sunny just happened. Sunny days. <laughs> chisel, chisel, chisel. When you when you edge it in, when you edge it in with the sorry, right, it's not a common word. When you edge it into the um stone, chisel. It's not a okay. common Philly word. Chiseled carefully, <laughs> chiseled carefully. It's all right. Chiseled carefully in stone. <laughs> chiseled carefully in stone uh-huh. is a series of detailed drawings. With accompany, accompanying, sorry, accompanying, accompanying inscriptions, inscriptions that commemorate Shalbaneser's numerous military campaigns. Right. Maybe the, if you sing, it'll come out right. Oh <laughs> man, <laughs> you can't say nothing, man. You just oh my on. god. <laughs> this guy over here, man, making words up. <laughs> Go ahead. The oblique shows an event not mentioned in the biblical in the Bible. Uh-huh. Jehu bowing before Shalmaneser. 
with numerous Israelite servants inside. And aid. And oh, aid. Lord oh, Jesus. Nah, nah, that was a little far. Oh, God. I can't see that for oh, oh, yeah, you can, you can see it. And yeah, aid, you got to zoom in. You can't miss the word aids. Come on now. Yeah, aids. Yeah, I can't see it. Standing by. Good. Sorry. <laughs> standing by. <laughs> Israelite servants and aids standing by with, with gifts for the Assyrian king. Go ahead. Tribute or uh, compulsory, compulsory payments. payments to protect a weaker nation against a more powerful you foe. Move. Okay. More powerful foe was often levied, levied by aggressor nations such as the Assyrians during mm-hmm. Old Testament times. Right, like for example, Rezin and Ephraim coming against Judah. He hired Tiglath-Pileser to overthrow the Assyrians. Go ahead. In this instance, go ahead. After being anointed king of Israel by the prophet Elisha, Jehu eliminated all threats to his rule by killing all members of the family of Ahab. He did. He, 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 rem- he eradicated the whole Ahab line. He eradicated them. It's a go for Jehu. Go ahead. Whom he... He was... I mean, he, well, the Lord used him for that, but, but later the, on, he became wicked himself. But the oh, Lord King did his family, Jehu. Yeah, his, but the Lord did say that he that was, was prophetic. His family. Yeah. He told Ahab was going to get rid of his family. He told him right. that. So I'm going to race you. I'm going to race you. you some existence. You wicked as hell. You wicked as hell. Go ahead. Whom he succeeded, 2 Kings 9 and 10, right. as a ruler. Jehu was a weak king yep. who failed to eliminate Baal worship from the land. Yep. The black obelisk is a valuable archaeological find because it helps establish a date for Jehu's rule mm-hmm. as well as an overall chronologi- uh, Chron- chronology. chronology for this period of Israel's history. It also shows us what an Israelite king from this period must have, must have looked like. This is the only image of or drawing of an Israelite king that has been discovered by archaeologists. Right, Archa- archaeologists. Ar- archaeologists. So it shows you that the Israelite kings, he had the long beard, he had the fringes on and so on and so forth. All right? It's not the only drawing. It's they, not the only they, drawing. They, they got our drawings and they destroyed most of our drawings, our right. pictures. There's more of us in dark ages and yeah. so forth, but that, that's... I guess they can say that's uh, only ancient drawings of us. They'd be lying. They'd be lying their behinds off. But all right. So we'll start there. And we're going to go to, uh, that was 132. Read 2 Kings, 132. 2 Kings. Go to the bottom. Assyrian Kings. It says 2 Kings. 2 Kings. No, 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 no. In the book. Oh. <laughs> it says Assyrian Kings. It says 2 Kings. It starts off saying 2 Kings. Oh, there's more reading? Yes, yes, sir. That's for Abaddon, not you. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, Second Kings, and we're gonna end at um, uh, a Syrian ruler. S- Second Kings fifteen nineteen provides a direction in Scripture of any Assyrian king. Paul, Paul, biblical Paul, was the Babylonian name given to Tiglath Pileser III, seven forty five to seven twenty seven B C. The earlier, go ahead. After his conquest of Babylon, right. Tiglath Pileser's campaign of 743 BC reached all the way to Israel, mm-hmm. where he erected, he exacted tribute from Menahem. 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 But they're earlier. But they're earlier. Go ahead. Not today, but earlier on weeks ago. Go ahead. By this payment of tribute to the king of Assyria, Menahem became a vassal, vassal to the Assyrian ruler. That's a fancy way of saying slave, servant to a, the Assyrian ruler. We became tributaries to the Assyrian king Tiglath Pileser. That's why when when uh, Ahaz paid him off, he killed Rezin with the quickness. Because Israel had money. We, we had money like that. Money like that. So now, let's get 2 Kings 17, verse 3 to 6. We stopped at 3. We're going to read verse 3 to 6 now. You got <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Cap. 2 Kings 3 to 6, man. 2 Kings chapter 17, verse 3. You got your break, man. Let's have a continue. Against him came up Shamanezar, king of Assyria. And Hoshai became his servant mm-hmm. and gave him presents. Mm-hmm. And the king of Assyria found conspiracy in Hoshai, for he had sent messengers to So, king of Egypt, and brought no present to the king of Assyria. So he, so he turned his back. So he, he went against king of Assyria and started paying tribute to king of Egypt instead, to uh, make an alliance with him to rebel against Assyria. Go ahead. As he had done year by year, therefore the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. Then the king of Assyria came up throughout all the land and went up to Samaria and besieged it three years. He besieged Samaria for three years. I mean, he starved Israel out. Ephraim was freaking starved them out. Go ahead. 
In the ninth year of Hoshai, the king of Assyria, took Samaria Mm -hmm. and carried Israel away into Assyria and placed them in Hala and in Habor by the river of Gozan and in the cities cities of of the the Medes. Medes. Right. So he took the second wave. Large. This is a large wave. Took Ephraim out of that land, placed them in Assyrian provinces, deported. They basically, they deported Ephraim out of the land. All right, so you had Tiglath-Pileser, first wave, Shamanaz, the second wave. It was like three waves. All right, so now. And, and you see what that's showing is like every war, like you stop paying them tribute and they go to war. It seems like, like every war that's happening, even up to now, it's always about money. Just like when they kill, um, what's, his, uh, what's his guy named in Yemen? Uh, not Yemen. Uh, Qaddafi? Qaddafi. Egypt, Libya. yeah. Right, when he decided, Libya, yeah. Libya, when he decided that he didn't want to not use the United States money, he's going to create his own money, yeah. then they kill him. Mm-hmm. Right. So this is basically... Same thing. Up, same yeah, thing. it lines up the same thing. Politics. Yeah, it goes the same thing with the class you had yesterday. Right. The new under the sun. Right, the new under the sun. Right, um, give me, go back to Nelson's again. Page 133, page 133. Um, we're going to start at when and end that we're over. So when... It's page 133, and we're over. It's the first paragraph. Okay. When Tiglath Pileser III died in 727 BC, mm-hmm. his son Shamanesser V, there you go. Go 727 to 722 BC, succeeded him. And Hosea of Israel took this as an opportunity to discontinue payment of tribute to Assyria. Mm-hmm. Hosea foolishly made a pact with Egypt, which was now so weak and divided that it could not give Hosea adequate support. In 725 B.C., Shabaneser V marched against Israel and besieged the city of Samaria from 725 to 722 B.C. Mm -hmm. After three years of siege, Samaria fell and the days of Israel as a sovereign power were over. Yep, I mean, forsaken of both her kings. So now Ephraim is gone and Syria is down. Just like Isaiah prophesied. All right, we're over. Now... Let's go back to, um, let's get page one. Give me the Holman, Give me the Bible Atlas, Holmans, page 192. Holmans will be this right here. Cap is tired as hell. Give me home, there's a Holman right there. Look at that damn honey, man. I told you that honey thing. I think it's so good, though. Uh, see, look at your eye. Eyes are bloodshot. Oh, there you go. You got, you got Holman right here. <laughs> Holman. <laughs> you got Holman right here. Use this, I use this also, Holman's Quick Source. I use this during Monday, Monday classes as well. Um, pretty good stuff here. All right, you can buy this as well. It's very common to buy. Good stuff. All right. So we're going to be page 192, and then take a break after that. All right, so page 192, page 192. Huh? Nothing. What, what happened? Nothing. This guy, cat man, took his headphones off. Page 192, go to Assyrians. What the hell's wrong with y'all, man? You, you know he's pl- you know, Kevin's plotting. Oh, he's plotting he's again? Plotting something. Page 192? Yep. Page at the top, right? Assyrian. What? Oh, no, we're trying to hook you up for tea. Oh, I need tea, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust Cap, man. <laughs> trying try, try to leave or something so you can get to read. Page 192? Uh, we're going to read Assyrian, and we're going to end at Samaria. All right? Okay. Assyrian preoccupation with Uratu ended with the reign of Tiglath-Pileser III, right. 744 to 727 B.C. So the same accurate date as this book gives. Two different books, same accurate year. All right? 727 is when he died. Go ahead. His reign ended, and Shalmaneser took over. Go ahead. The true founder of the Assyrian Empire. He made changes in the administration of conquered territories. territories. Nations close to the Assyrian homeland were incorporated incorporated as provinces. Others were left with native rule but subject to an Assyrian overseer. Right. So others are left with a native rule but subject to Assyrian overseers. Go ahead. Tiglath-Pileser also instituted a policy of mass Mass deportations. Mass deportations. Mass deportation. Go ahead. To reduce local nationalistic feelings. To reduce local nationalistic feelings. Meaning what? 
They would remove you from your land, so you would lose national pride. Damn. You would lose knowledge of self over time. That was the whole premise. That's why, we, that's why Assyria is not necessarily, I, I call this prelim, preliminary time to Gentiles because Assyria is not really necessarily Babylon. It is Babylon, but it's not um, who Daniel is referring to. Assyria is not the lion. Nebuchadnezzar was. But Assyria still does tie into Babylon because Babylon followed that same policy of deporting people from their land and putting them in other places. So it ties in together when it says that America, Revelation, is that lion. Okay, because they incorporated that as well, taking removing people from their land and putting them, and putting them somewhere else. And they have Americans are displaced, we are displaced. It's the same mm -hmm. thing, doing the same exact thing. So so Babylon followed behind where Syria left off in terms of taking people out their land and removing them, or they will conquer a people, remove their ruler, and set up overseers in their place, like they did with Gaddafi, like they're doing in Haiti. It's the same thing. They do it in Iran, Iraq. They do it all the time. Nothing new. Go ahead. He, he took conquered people into exile to live in lands vacated by other conquered exiles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chapter two, Second Kings, chapter 17, verse 24. Right. Hold on. One second. I don't show you too. Well, that's the, the history when they uh, bring the people in the land. And the most has sent lying against them. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Chapter yes. 17. He put them there. Yep, yeah. yep. That's yeah. it. We don't. We're gonna be. The, we're gonna end that Samaria. We don't. As, as Tiglath Pileser, also called Pur, arrived on the coast of Phoenicia, Menahem of Israel, Second Kings fifteen and nineteen, and Rezin of Aram Damasc Damascus brought tribute and became vassals of Assyria. Uh huh. An anti-Assyrian alliance quickly formed. Israel and Aram Damascus. Attacked Jerusalem. Right, Israel and Aram in Syria, Damascus attacked me, resin Pekka and resin. Same thing, go ahead. Attacked Jerusalem about 735 BC in an attempt to replace King Ahaz of Judah with a man loyal to the anti Assyrian alliance. 2 Kings 16, 2 to 6. Isaiah 7, one, verse 1 to 6. six. Mm -hmm. And thus forced Judah's participation. Mm -hmm. Against the protests of Isaiah, Isaiah 7, 4, 16 to 17, chapter 8, verses 4 to, 4 to 8. You read that. Go ahead. Ahaz appealed to Tiglath-Pileser for assistance, mm -hmm. 2 Kings 16, 7 to 9. You read that. Go ahead. Tiglath-Pileser, in response, campaigned against uh, Philistia. Philistia, 734 B.C., reduced Israel to the area immediately around Samaria, 2 Kings 15, 29, 733 B.C., and a next. And a next Aram Damascus, 732 BC, deporting the population. Mm -hmm. Ahaz, for his part, became a Syrian vassal. Second Kings 16 and 10, Second Chronicles 28, 16, 20 to 22. Uh -huh. Little. Little is known of the reign of Tiglath Pileser's successor, Shabaneser V, mm -hmm. 726 to 722 BC, except that he besieged Samaria from three years in response to Hosea's failure to pay tribute. Mm -hmm. 2 Kings 17, 3-5. to, five. Three to five. Mm -hmm. The city finally fell to Shalmaneser, 2 Kings 17, 6, chapter 18, verses 9-12, to 12, who apparently died in the same year. After he conquered the Ephraim, he died. Go ahead. His successor, Sargon II. Ah, his successor, Sargon II. His, this is um, his son. His, um, Sargon II, I believe, is his son. Go ahead. 722 to 705 B.C. took credit in Assyrian royal... In, Inscriptions for deporting 20, 27,290 inhabitants of Samaria. He that's the third wave. So it took left for the first wave, deporting Ephraim. Salmon is the second wave, and Sargon was the third wave. Ephraim was just getting taken out piece by piece, being removed from the land and placed in other lands. And that's how they became the lost ten tribes, based upon these deportations right here listed. Three particular waves. It took left for lessers, Shalmanas, is a, which is the bulk, and then Sargon, the, rem, the remnants was Sargon. Okay? So, Sargon, Sargon. Um, we're going to take a quick break. Um, take a quick break. We'll be back in about five minutes, all right? So stay tuned. Relax. We'll be back. Shalom. History, history, history. Yeah. Hello, Israel. No, son, Christ bless. Ignatan here, by you are Philadelphia. 
tuned in to Our Head of History Radio. We'll be going to deep understanding and history of who we are, going to the Bible, hidden artifacts, archaeology, the geography, or you can think of that shrouds around our history of the Bible and go into it in depth. So Israel, like, subscribe, comment on our YouTube channel, Our Head of History Radio. See you then. Shalom, no sign of Do you know what do you
Yeah. You know we came to ride. ride. All on your block. Don't care about the odds. This truth is do or die. Woo. Come crown the kings and watch how we bleed. We here 365. Why you and your dreams? We on the scene. Saving our people's lives. Oh. What a time to be alive when it's going down. I got both eyes on the same prize. If you're trying to build, then it's hammer time. Nigga, lava the mama, no COVID. Different scriptures, you can call it a rover. Can't see it, and you blind like Toby. Pass over with a sheep, but we go to the sofa. I'm proper you face. You don't do nothing you say. All day searching our pace. Looking for sin. Why is you hate? Why in the hood? All in their face. Probably go, we reign it. Put some respect on our name. We prophets. You are novice. Your doctrine demolished. Stop it. Answer the apostles. Watch us. Take a look on the same page in our favorite book. For all the prophets with the same doctor, put it out my pocket. Had your block shook. We'll rip it like Officer Liam. Cover this box, got a run like a cheetah. Quick in the script, seven seconds can't beat them. More than a weapon, that Bible is lethal. They bugger like Beatles. So. Camp life, yeah, we live this camp life. Show up in your hood with this gun. Yeah, my camp might this camp life. Camp life, yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, it's do a down, down the ride. I swore, yeah, we coming down your street. Spiritual war, bring that fire, gon' feel that heat. Squad up, squad up on them corners, can't be discreet can't be with it. Shoot out scriptures like a gun, but let's we speak with it. The words of God is our weapon, we get deep off in it. Combine the soul called Christians. Why to the devil we kill it? Uh. Armor up, tear down the doctrines of the word of spirit, she wicked. It up all day and night, gathering up the tribes of Israel. Step up to us, then you get this word. No, we don't fight, but feelings get hurt. We'll cut you up, slashing you with this word. Your spirit got cooked because the scriptures you heard. We show you love, you think it's hate. If you don't repent, you must meet your fate. No, the Bible ain't up for debate. No sugar coat, I'm telling you straight. We just a messenger. You try to shoot us down with the dark fire, then you fail. Did you not know that nothing you do to the prophets of God? No, it won't prevail. Coming down strong and out of them coons. I never thought we're rising up soon. The other nation posted up with they gone. So what's about to happen next? Stay tuned. With this camp life, camp life, that's right, that's right. With this camp life, camp life, that's right, that's right. With this camp life, yeah, we live this camp life. So I'll be your hood with this good, yeah, my camp life. Charts. Damn it! Drop another album! It's the charts, man. Yes! Original royalty is still at the top of the charts! Ah! What are we gonna do? We gotta try Kid Cudi and Dress. Yeah. We tried Lil Nas X. Nothing is working. The Binge of Vice dropped the fifth album! What? 149 and one Lily won't stop with the damn hits. Mm. There's nothing we can do. I know what we can do. Let's go. Best. Right. Good. Yeah. We at the bottom, but really ain't no one on top of us. Uh -oh. I see the ain't coming and I did not need no binoculars. If this was a game, then we about to win the whole tournament. This place going down and I'm going up like the firmament. You got to pay the whole penalty for what you did to my people. They told us to shoot for the stars, but first let me shoot at the eagle. This is a movie part one and I cannot wait for the sequel. No wonder you run 
off in the sun, cause you are the shadiest people. But enough of this talk about you, now let's get back to reality. We march when the cops kill our people, but we don't march when we go kill our family. I call that insanity, sanity, 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 sanity. They took all our nickels and dimes, when it comes to sense, we don't have any. Uh, he's a financial calamity. Ooh. I got the most dangerous book on this earth, so I dare one of y'all to come challenge me. I'm reading it over and over till my people break out the cycle. Break. You said I got love everybody, but that script is not in the Bible. Yeah, bring a sanity like Sean T. Hmm. Crossroads for those who cross me. Ah. East saw feeling all heat in his rightful place with a dog bleed. Ah. That's a rider iron, don't you dare flee. It's a wild game, and you dare me. We control the fight like a new Hadouken. Watch it get down right, left beat. His high horse is getting murky. Full of pride since birth. Cast Lucifer from his heaven. Hmm. Better get real down to earth. If you want kings, the South has it. We activated, not acting. Wait until that day the sky cracking. Make a feel that heat like house plastic. Here's Santa Day, here's Santa Day. This a mental war and they challenge. The scales of judgment unbalanced. The prophecies is unraveling. We can crucify it in the media. If you're in your feelings, get past them. We the real men and we set the lead. Get that woman out, you like Adam. Specs are not going insane. Free slave in a month chain. We lost the kingdom, trying to regain. In a wide press full of beat stains. World War a few weeks away. Carpe deal, we seize the day. I deserve it all, that's all they need to say. Said he asked the pieces, that's a peaceful day. Said he asked the pieces, that's a peaceful day. Pray to the God who made me. You only got ways you crazy. You only got ways you crazy. Uh, I've been thinking about it, I get in. Get in. JDJ got a problem, forget him. Get in. You and all the reality set in. Nah. That the enemy out here to get him. Get in. Your head on the wall, cause it's mounted beheaded or facing the other direction. Cause we walking dead in the dead ends. The chariot drop, I'm like, get in. Cause we trying to dodge, I'm getting. Uh. One body move, one mind, one two, double time like 11. I move things with my mind like, like 11. 11. Oh. I watch these all face as a red end. Whoa. Definition of Zion is weapon. Yeah. The truth like a virus is spreading. Spread Say in. you out of your mind if you catch it. Uh. Then I'm gonna be dying to get it. We doing it. this over and over again every time it fall through all cause of sin and it's harm and it's ball of confusion. I ain't convinced we caught up arm in the rim. Uh, break down the word, my job and terminology. I live in different dimension and it's called reality where we don't make no apologies. And eternal life be the same. Did you see the charts? Did you see the charts, man? I'm with him. I'm very with him. Unbelievable! <laughs> damn, damn, damn! <laughs> this is a damn nightmare! <laughs>
We're back from the break. Back from the break. Back from the break. Uh, we're going to go into Isaiah 20 and 1. So we left off with Shalmanazar the 5th. Uh, and we're going to go to Isaiah 20 and 1. Isaiah 20 verse 1. Isaiah 20 verse 1. Isaiah 20 verse 1. Isaiah 20 verse 1. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 20, verse 1. In the year that Tartan came unto Ashdod, when Sargon, the king of Assyria, sent him and fought against Ashdod and took it. Mm -hmm. At the same time spake the Lord by Isaiah, the son of Amos, saying, Go and loose the sackcloth from off thy loins, and put off thy shoe from the foot, thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. Isaiah was walking around naked and barefoot. Go ahead. And the Lord said, Like as my servant Isaiah hath walked naked and barefoot three years, for a sign and wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia. Because Israel, remember, remember earlier, we read earlier how Hosea, northern kingdom, made an alliance with uh, made an alliance, excuse me, with Egypt to go against Assyria. So Israel, our problem was that we always relied upon the Egypt to be our savior. Not the Lord, but Egypt our savior. So watch what happens. Go ahead. So he used Isaiah as a sign to walk around barefoot and naked. Go ahead. Verse 4. So shall the kingdom of Syria lead away the Egyptians prisoners and the Ethiopians captives, young and old, naked and barefoot, even with their buttocks uncovered to the shame of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And they shall be afraid and ashamed of Ethiopia, their expectation. Israel, we shall be afraid and ashamed. Go ahead. And of Egypt, their glory. Mm -hmm. And the inhabitant of this isles shall say in that day, Behold, such is our expectation. Whether we flee for help to be delivered from the king of Assyria, and how shall we escape? We won't be able to escape. But the Lord said, I'm going to overthrow both those kingdoms so you can't run there. Because Israel always ran to Egypt all the time. I was a neighbor. We ran there all the time. The Lord said, I'm going to overthrow Egypt and, and, and Ethiopia. I'm going to overthrow both of them. And I'm using Isaiah as a sign to show what I'm going to do to them. Have them walk around, have them be taken captive, butt naked and barefoot. All right, so Sargon was used to do so. Sargon the second. All right, Sargon the second. Now, give me um, Holman again. Go back to Holman again. Page 182. We're going to read where it says a little. Little is known. Gotcha. Little is known of the reign of Tiglath-Pileser's successor, Shalmaneser V, 726 to 722 B.C., except that he besieged Samaria for three years in response to Hosea's failure to pay tribute, mm -hmm. 2 Kings 17, 3 to 5. The city finally fell to Shalmaneser, 2 Kings 17 mm -hmm. and 6, 18, 9 to 12, who apparently died in the same year. His successor, Sargon II, Isaiah 20, go ahead. 722 to 705 BC took credit in Assyrian royal inscriptions for deporting 27,290 inhabitants of Samaria. Right, third wave. Now, let's get Jewish. The, I sent you a link. I think I sent it to the wrong place. Hold on. So I just thought about it. I sent it to the wrong place. Give me a second. Um, yep, I did. One second. One second. And you should get it now. You got it now. It's a Jewish virtual library. Regarding the Assyrians practices. We're gonna start at uh beginning and we're gonna end at northern Mesopotamia. Right, go to the bottom, second paragraph, the beginning. And we're going to end at northern Mesopotamia. This is a, a Jewish virtual library on Assyria. <coughs> Watch this. Beginning with the monarch Tukulti Ninrata. Now, remember what I said to y'all earlier. I said that we are in the preliminary time of the Gentiles, meaning Assyria was not counted with Daniel's vision. Babylon was. However, the Babylonians or Cushites followed behind the same footsteps in terms of policies. 
that the Assyrians, because the Assyrians initially conquered Babylon and took over Babylon, but then the Babylonians take back Babylon and conquer the Assyrians. And that's under Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar's father or grandfather, or whatever. So they, they followed the same policies, all right? So you could say it's pretty much the same thing. So we're going to read what the Assyrians did here. What are we doing? Watch this. Assyria began. Assyria began its first conquest, in this case, the conquest of Babylon. Right, they conquered the Babylonians. They conquered the Babylonians first. Go ahead. The Assyrian dream of empire began with the monarch Tiglath-Pileser, mm -hmm. uh, 1116 to 1090. That's Tiglath-Pileser the first, the original, the original Tiglath-Pileser. Go ahead. Who extended Assyrian dominance to Assyria and Armenia, but the greatest period of conquest occurred between 883. And 824, under the monarchies of Ashur Nazarpal II, mm -hmm. 883 to 859 BC, and Shalmaneser III, 853 to 824 BC, mm -hmm. who conquered all of Syria and Palestine, all of Armenia, and the prize of prizes, Babylon and southern Mesopotamia. Mm -hmm. The Assyrian conquerors invented a new policy toward the conquered. The center is set. The Assyrian, the Assyrian conquerors invented a new what? Invented a new policy. A new policy. That was last night's class. A new policy. Watch this. Toward the conquered. In order to prevent nationalist revolts we, by... We read earlier, nationalist, nationalistic ideals in this book, um, the, the um, Bible Atlas. So in order to prevent national, read again, in order to prevent what? In order to prevent nationalist revolts. In order to prevent nationalist revolts, meaning race race wars. Basically, pretty much nation race uprisings. Go ahead. By the conquered people. By the conquered people. Go ahead. The Assyrians would force the people they conquered to migrate in large numbers to other areas of the kingdom. I'm sorry, of the empire. Besides guaranteeing the security of an empire built off of conquered people. Stop. Besides guaranteeing the security of their empire built off the con built off of conquered people. Does that sound familiar? This is what America does. Go ahead. Of different cultures and languages, these mass deporta deportations of the populations in the Middle East, Mesopotamia, and Armenia Turned the region into a melting pot of diverse cultures. Sound familiar? Turned the nation to a melt region into a melting pot of diverse cultures. Go ahead. Religions and languages. This is Babylon. Mm. That's ancient Babylon. The Assyrians went over ba ancient Babylon. It's the same thing. Doing the exact same thing America does. That's going back to Revelation 13 about that lion. So basically, uh, they like um, that. Uh, create like a confusion where they're on top of the confusion. The Pretty much, they reign ruled over, it and, they, and that confusion keeps those nations from up, from over from uprising and fighting against them because they're all scattered they're, they're among each other. Right, and like the first part when you said um, to prevent like the revolt, that's how like uh, nationalist uh, revolt. Right, uh, gentrification. Right, gentrification. That's exactly. Like, like to remove them from where they are mm -hmm. and put them somewhere else. Right, and so that over time they forget. They lose their sense of, of pride, racial pride. Go ahead. The Greeks did that too. The yeah, first the Maccabees, you went over that yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Nothing new under the sun. Go ahead. Whereas there would be little cultural contact between the conquered mm. and the conquerors. There would be little cultural contact between the conquered and conquerors. The conquerors live in one place. The conquered live somewhere else. Go ahead. In early Mesopotamian history, under the Assyrians, the entire area became a vast experiment. A vast what? Experiment. And what? And cultural mixing. See that? Vast experiment. America. In America. In, in cultural mixing. Go ahead. It was the Assyrian monarch Sargon II, 720. Go. Sargon II, go ahead. 721 to 705 BC, who first forcefully relocated Hebrews against the conquest of Israel, the northern kingdom of the Hebrews. Although this was a comparatively mild deportation. Right. Wait, wait. You gotta go back. You, you, I think you read that wrong, bro. Which part? Forcefully relocated the Hebrews after the conquest. 
Guess so. Yeah, you have Officer Laquat correcting you? Oh, yeah. come on. Oh. Uh, uh, where we at? Wow. <laughs> 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 Yo. Yo. Nah, man, I just want you to read it right, man. Yo. He set me, he set me from up. Haiti no, too. I didn't trust that you're a man. He set me up, man. He's from Haiti, too. Oh, oh man. man. What? I said something offensive? Wow. Yeah, <laughs> man. English, yeah, second, yeah, language, yeah. second language. Second language. Let's go ahead, man. Who, ba- bastard language, man. Second language. Can't ask that question. was terrible, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who first forcefully relocated Hebrews after the conquest of Israel, the northern kingdom of the Hebrews. Although this was a comparatively mild deportation and perfectly in line with Assyrian practice, it marks the historical beginning of the Jewish diaspora. See that? It marks the historical beginning of the Jewish diaspora. Mm-hmm. So the Assyrians deporting Ephraim or Israel out of their land is what started the Israelite diaspora. That's what started it. Okay, go ahead. This chapter in the Jewish diaspora, however, never has been really written. For the Hebrews deported from Israel seem to have blended in with Assyrian society. They blended in, listen carefully, they blended in with Assyrian society. That's called assimilation. That's what that's called. Assimilation, integration is the same. Well, not even that's not the same thing. Assimilation. Because integrate basically means two different things maintain their individuality, but they mix together. Assimilate means one, two things come together and one merge with the other and falls behind that one. So the assimilation, assimilation. Go ahead. And by the time Nebuchadnezzar II conquers Judah, 528 B.C., the southern kingdom of the Hebrews. No, 587 B.C. Sorry, 587 B.C., uh-huh. the southern kingdom of the Hebrews. The Israelites deported by Sargon II have disappeared Nameless. Nameless and, and faceless faithful. in the mm. sands of northern Mesopotamia. Broken that they be not a people. Mm. Wow. Nameless Broken that they faceless. be not nameless and faceless into the sands of northern Iraq. Now, D, why do they say faceless? Because they were going to mingle around with everybody. So that's them not retaining the original that's features. That's them not retaining the original features. That's and that goes back to Hosea chapter 7. Ephraim had mixed himself with the people. Remember it said that they, they, that they had mixed themselves into Assyrian nations. Mm. Early, in the, early in this, in this, in this paragraph here. Go up, go up some, go up some, so it says it. the Assyrian captivity was when first Ephraim started to mix himself amongst the people. No, even, even no, before that they were doing that. But this is, yeah. this is on a national scale. It says here, it says... Uh, I said I mentioned assimilation, which is conquered by migrate uh, cultures, languages, <coughs> conquered into the Syrians, entire nation, vast cultural mixing. It was the Syrian. It was the one I conquered. Hey, Cap, somebody got a message for you on the chat. They call you Cap, the Jersey bully. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got to read that, man? I'll try to ignore that. <laughs> it said, blended in with the Syrian society. It says, Hebrews deported from Israel seem to have blended in with the Assyrian society. They were, they were placed in the lands of the Medes. Mm. So they mingle with the Assyrians, they mingle with the Medes, and whoever was in these lands. They mingle with them. Mm. Syrians too. All right? So that's what I want. So now, so keep that in mind regarding them being uh, nameless and faceless. And also um, adapting Assyrian society among themselves. Keep that in mind. Um, give me um, Lost Tribes of Myth. I want page 286. Let's see where they went during the Assyrian exile. Start from the top, Deke. Well, well, I underlined it. There, there. Mm-hmm. Accepting Herodotus's, right there, right there. Accepting Herodotus's statement that the swarthy. Accepting Herodotus's statement that the swarthy, c- circumcising people. The swarthy, circumcising people are Jews. Swarthy, black people that circumcise their people. That's Israelites. Watch this. Whom he knew in Colchis. Colchis is. But you would know it today as uh, 
um, Russia, the, the Caucasus Mountains. Because we fled there. We fled into it. It's like India, Russia. It's like, it's like those lands are very, they're like, they're like very, very close. So it's called the Caucasus. It's like the, that's like the, the Black Sea, Caspian Sea. That's that area. All right? The Caucasus is that area there. All right? Read on. Were the most skillful artisan, artisans there. His mistaking them for Egyptians. So they were mistaken for Egyptians. They were black. Just like Moses. Right. They were mistaken for Egyptians. This swarthy, circumcising people were mistaken for Egyptians. Like Joseph was, like Moses was, like Paul was. Because they're black. All of them are black. Go ahead. Living in this land, living in this area known as the Caucasus. Go ahead. His mistaking them for Egyptians is very simply explained. The people in question are the Tushes. The, keep, the people in question, the swarthy circumcising people here, living in this area called the Tushes. Go ahead. Now in the valleys on the east of Mount Barbalo, the brownest of the various races in the Caucasus. In the brownest. Go ahead. And the most intelligent and skillful artisans, according to Reckless. Reckless. They wander among the lowland people, earning money by their handcraft, returning to their mountain homes to till their own lands. Watch this. There are rem remnants of Judaism oh. among them. There's oh. remnants, remnants of Judaism. He said remnants. Remnants. There's remnants. Remnants. There's remnants of Judaism among them. Remnants of Judaism. <laughs> It's just remnants. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. There are remnants of Judaism among them. Let's blame Jez. Jez ain't here. You sick. There are remnants of Judaism <laughs> among them. Go ahead. There are remnants. There are remnants. Oh, Lord oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh. There are remnants of Judaism <laughs> among them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is a setup, man. <laughs> no, this you're, is a setup. No, you're reading a setup. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. There are what now? There are there are remnants of Judaism among them, and traditions of being refugees from Assyrian Syrian oppression. That's it. There you go. There are remnants of Judaism among them, and traditions of being refugees from Assyrian oppression. Why is there remnants? Because if because Ephraim. Did what? They adopted the Assyrian society among them. So you have remnants of Judaism among them, and you also had Assyrian among them. Remnants of custom among, among them. But they kept circumcision. Go to page 287. Mm -hmm. Is it that part of what says uh, Ephraim and mixed himself among the people? Yeah. That's what I was asking. Now, Deacon, the part when it says Ephraim's a kick, not turn. It was that also making reference to that, to that time period as well? With Edom? Yeah. No, no, no. With Ephraim and the Assyrian captivity. Mixing something on the peoples, that part. Mm -hmm. Cake not turned, that's Esau. Lord Nations is black. So the cake ain't gonna be turned with mm -hmm. Esau and Assyrians. Read that. The Sargonic, but Sargonid, watch this. But Sargonic. Sargonid is Sargon. Sargonid is Sargon. Sargon II. And when Isaiah 20, the one who deported them, the, the one that's deported us, it says, but Sargonid what? Deportees. Sargonid deportees or Assyrian refugees of, of, of Assyrian oppression. Watch this. May have been on the northern trade route from the Black Sea to the Far East nearly 100 years earlier. What year? 721 B.C. Mm -hmm. Where? In cities of the Medes. There you go. go Second Kings. Second Kings 17 and 6. Go ahead. For Medes is a very inclusive term, <coughs> meaning any Iranic Aryans as far northeast as the Elburz Mountains. That's all I want right now. This don't go too far. Give me on um, page 343. That's okay. I'll take over for you. I'll praise the Lord. Oh, snap. It's, a little, it's a little bit wow. too much reading. Wow. I suspect you get at least one page for the class, but... Got a little bit more than that. Tell what me. you could chew. I'll pray this guy. So, we're, where were we starting, Deacon? What's underlined? Please don't give me the spirit of Abaddon. <laughs> 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 Captives. Oh, man. Captives who escaped from Shamanazar. Go on. Captives who escaped from Shamanazar the fifth. Same thing. Go ahead. Spent three years in reaching India. Where? Spent three years in reaching India. See where we went? 
Spent three years in reaching India. India. We spent three years reaching India. You know who this is? That's your Dalits. That's the Dalits. That's them. Go ahead. Which, again, means that some Sargonoid colonists in the cities of the Medes made with, came with the Persians into India. Came with the Israelites from India, from Persia. Remember, Persian captivity, um, we, ran, we were there too. Remember Judah? That's the Babi Yosides. They came over during the time of the Persian captivity because the Persians had provinces over Ethiopia to India. The Babylonians had Ethiopia to India, then the Persians took, took over from there. And Israel was placed in these areas. Okay, and they came and joined up with Ephraim in these areas, in India. <laughs> okay? Um, go down. Does it want to be more? Want to be more? Go down some, go down some. I think it goes into Babylon here. I'm not going there yet. I'll come back to this another, another time. So, I may have to end it because I want to go into... Um, I want to go into Dirk Lane. I don't have that. I don't have that right now. You know what? I can go there. Um, let me see if I can send it to you. Maybe maybe I can go through that some. I'll go. I just have to revisit it again. Give me one second. Um, this is last minute. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, so that's why a lot of the times. Um, yeah, the southern kingdom always rejects northern kingdom because of the feature of their features, their mixed features. They say because they're retarded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. they think that all Israel has to look exactly the same. Well, that's not the case. The Lord says Israel will be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Well, I don't understand how you expect us to look the same when, when we've been in India since the Syrian captivity. Mm -hmm. We count twenty twenty one to seven twenty two, what uh, seven BC, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> thousands of years later. Mm-hmm. I showed you, the Israelite brain is only stuck in America. American-based Israelites. Or, right. Yeah, so. I'll send it to you. I mean, I'm going to be going all around because I haven't read this in a long time, but I'm going to give it a shot. If not, I'm just going to go back to it next week. Here's the website with the actual. I had the PDF on my phone, but I don't know where I can't find it, so I didn't get to have to use this now. Yeah, um, Anthropos. This is a paper by Dirk Lang. Read that. Oh gosh, that's yeah, it's a throwback. No, I'm talking about the words. Oh, we, we, it's all right. We can just blow it up. It's, it's it's side by side, so you can just blow up one side and move it over. What does that? Yeah, can't break up on my screen, so I can read it better. Okay. Origin of the Yoruba. Origin of the Yoruba and, and the, the Lost Tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. By Dirk Lang. Now, his writings are usually found, in, I think, in German or Dutch. So they had to be translated. This is in the abstract. Now, abstract. Hold on. Before you read that, what I want is, hold on. Give me one second. I'll see something real quick. One sec, one sec. Uh, <coughs> one second. I want to show you where this took place. It should say where it took place. This is university. Hold on. This is why I needed my, um, I didn't get a chance to write this down. One second. Oh, where the hell is it? Someone say something while I find it. Okay. So, like, the deacon was... break while you read. Give yourself a break. <laughs> So like the deacon was discussing earlier, um, for the exiled northern kingdom out of the land of Israel into the Syria, into the Medes, a lot of times we mix amongst them, and you see Gad today, a lot of them are rejected because of the features that they retained from the ancient uh, Assyrians. The long, stringy hair, they came over looking like that. Some of them came over looking like that, and some of them came over looking at, retaining their Negroid features. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the Almanacs, the Chichimex. 
You see those, and you see, wait a minute, those look like a lot of Jake confused the almanacs or the Chichen Mex in them for Africans, seeing the Africans were here, not knowing that those in Northern Kingdom that retained their features prior to the, um, to the Syrian captivity when Solomon, he took his fleet of ships and came over to the Americas. So they didn't yet mix in to a level. So it wasn't until later on. So that's why you got the Negroid looking um, Northern, Northern Kingdom. Then later on, you have the other side of the Northern Kingdom when they came over after the Syrian captivity, when they mixed in with the Syrians, the Medes, and then the Persians. So that's when they, like say, you have the long, stringy hair coming over to the Americas. And then Esau, that's Hosea chapter 7, verse 8. Read that. The book of Hosea, chapter 7, and verse 8. Bring it Ephraim. He hath mixed himself among the people. So this is a dirt of Syrian captivity. Ephraim, first and foremost, started mixing amongst the people. So not only did they, was their facial features not retained, but their identity, their nationality. That's why in the New Testament, they were called, being called strangers. They were being called Gentiles. They were being called heathen. You might as well because they took on not only the features, but took on the language, the customs, the religions, the ideology, the philosophies. So Ephraim mixed himself amongst all the other nations. That's why you have black Negroes saying that, oh, the Northern Kingdom, those are not our people. The Latinos are not our people. The, in, the people in India, they don't even know about that. Their brain don't even go as far as India or Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, Tajikistan, Yemen, Egypt, Isaiah 11. They only know the Israelites in America. When the vast majority of the Israelites, God says two-thirds would die in that land. So where's the remnant? Where's the rest of the Israelites coming from? If the majority of people is going to die in this land, they're going to go from the, come from the diaspora. Mm -hmm. Just like Paul went to the diaspora and still the, the majority of Israel. Yeah, and Thomas went to India. And Thomas went to India <laughs> and established seven synagogues. Yeah. yeah. And he died in India. And he was black too. Mm -hmm. I got found it here. It's page 593. Go down to the bottom. It's 593. Page 593. It's on the right-hand side. The page is on the right-hand side of, the, of those um, pages. So when you scroll down, just scroll down. On your right-hand side, you're going to see 593. Keep going. It's way in the bottom. Keep that map in mind. You just pass the map. We'll need that map soon. 590, 580-something, 5. I'm going to come back to this next week. I have to come back to this next week because it's too much. I want to go through. I want to go through it in order. I also show you exactly what they're discuss where they're discussing this at. Five nine three. Okay, read that. Blow that up. Blow up the right hand side. Move it over to the right. <coughs> Do what that says. Blow it up more. Move it over. Move it over more. Right there. Move it over. Center it. Center it. Read that. Read what that says. This article. The article is a revised version of a paper presented at the conference, Jews and Judaism in Black Africa and its Diasporas, which was held at the School of African and Oriental Studies, University of London, 30 to 31, October 2010. So this, this is a lecture. This is an article that was a revised paper presented at a conference, Jews and Judaism in Black Africa and its Diasporas. Diasporas, Okay which was held at the School of African and Oriental Studies, I mean, Middle Eastern Studies, University of London, October 30th to 31st, two days, um, 20, was it, 11 years ago. 11 years ago. Now, when you go up, go to your left-hand side, and we're going to look at... Um, Second, I'm kind of like just taking a shot in the dark here because it's been a while since I read this. Um, Why don't you save that for next week? I am. I'm just going to just read something real quick. Just a few things real quick here. Read. Um, hold on. And that's why the Most High can't use a lot of these black-only Israelites. They, can't get, they cannot gather the nation. Neither can they discern. They don't have the spirit to discern. The scripture says, and Judah is God known. And bring him to the people. Get the map. The map is on, the map is on page 581. 
Hold on a second. And while you get that Matt Williams number five find something I saw a few seconds ago. So the Most High is going to put the spirit on the tribe of Judah to go out and search these tribes scattered throughout the diaspora. Because why? He put the spirit on them. But those that are saying that it's black Israelite only, they don't know the Bible. They go don't know the, history. Okay. What page is that, Matt? 581? Yes, sir. Uh, go back to the top again. To the very top first page. Go down to the left-hand side. You're going to see abstract on your left. Go down under that. You're going to see Bjork Lang and read, and read that. I mean, I'm just going to just kind of go slow. It's 323, 330. We're going to wrap it up. Go down to the left-hand side. You'll see, you'll see Bjork Lang under it and see what he studied. You show this guy was just some, wasn't some regular dude, like some dumb nigga that said, yeah, no, he's black only. These guys actually travel the world and research these things, but you idiots sit around the computer Googling things. So, I mean, they actually, these guys actually left their house, Deacon? Yeah, these guys are actually professors. That actually, okay, you know, they actually travel, travel like we do. Go to libraries, we do different that. locations, you, archaeologists. Library of Congress, travel museums. to Africa, like we okay, do. Okay, right, okay, okay. Right, yeah. So they see the world outside of the, right, inside their we world. we step outside that. Right, okay, right, okay, right. okay. That's, they do what we do. Okay. Uh, Dirk Lang, Dr. Justine, Cycle. So they're not Google prophets? No, no. Okay. No, these guys, these guys, yeah. Read that. Read that, Dierk Lang, Dr. Trisemi. Dierk Lang. Oh, I think my it's Trisemi, Trisemi, Trisemi Cycle. Dr. Trisemi Cycles, 1974, Paris. Uh-huh. Trisemi Dietat, 1987, Paris. These are professors that gather this information together along with him. Go ahead. Professor M. of uh, African History. Of African History. Go ahead. University of Beirut. Of Beirut. Beirut. University of Beirut. Go ahead. Field, Field research. research. But what is it? Hold on. What research? Failed, not Negro research, right. in Nigeria, nigger, and Libya. Libya. Publications in include? Publications include books and articles on the history of the medieval empires. The medieval empires, go ahead. Of West Africa. Where? Ghana, Mali, Songhai. Kanembornu. Kanembornu. And on. And on the history and anthropology of, of the Yoruba, Hossa, and, and Kanari. Now, go down to the map, please. I'm going to show you where Ephraim ended up. Yoruba. Primarily them. Hold on. Um, get the map. And if you find the map, I'm going to find this real quick. I got, a few, I got a few minutes. I'm playing around right now. Right now I'm playing around. But when I get, I'm going to put all this together next week. And right in the proper order. Because I did a video called Israel and Africa and the Americas. Mm. If you go to that. If you watch part one and two, I go into this thing in, in a complete detail. I go through this. But um, right now, I didn't write it all down. But I want to find, I saw something real quick that was important. So one second. One second. It's on the right-hand side, and I want to find it, because I like this part. I like what he says here. Hold on. Mm. I'll use the names of our forefathers here. One second. So Israel is in North America, Central America. South America, remnants of us in Africa, whether it be Northeast Africa with Egypt, Tunisia, Mauritania, going to East Africa, Tanzania, Uganda, Zanzibar, Nigeria, India, India China, going to the Indian Ocean. You have the Sicilies Islands. You have oh Seychelles, yeah, yeah, Madagascar. You have um, Malaysia, Malaysia. Um, you have yep, Australia. Then you yeah. have India, you have Guang, Sri Lanka. Guangzhou, China. Mm-hmm. Guangzhou, China was where the Kunlans were brought. They mm-hmm. called them black devils. Uh, we, were, we were the wonders of China. Mm. Y- Yasuke, the black samurai, was taken from Mozambique to over there. He wasn't the only, he wasn't the only one. He was just the most popular, well, known one, mm-hmm. the strong one. Um, go to page 591 real quick. Hold on to that map. That's 581, right? Go to 591. We're going to go down to Yoruba, what it says here. This mm. is 1.4, 591 on the right hand side. Okay, go down to where it says 1.4 on the right hand side. You'll see it. Watch what it says. Then we'll go to the map. Israel, make go sure down, you down. do your right job there. and you're Look, sharing these classes. Go. Now, uh, there you go. I'll zoom into that and, move, and center it over. Yep. Read that, please. The Yoruba as the lost tribes of Israel. Mm-hmm. Contrary to other African people, 
such as also the neighboring Igbo in the southwestern Nigeria. Igbo meaning Hebrew. I brought this out in my, in my um, class chapters ago about the Igbo meaning. The word Igbo means Hebrew itself. Igbo, there's a lot of the Igbos in southwest Af Western Africa, they know they're Israelites. They know, but they're still in Christianity. So they have, they, they have the flesh on them, but no breath over there in Africa now. We've been to Nigeria because we actually go to these places. You Negroes just sit around the computer and bitch about what we do all day. Southwestern Nigeria. Go ahead. Keep our names out of your mouth, too. Yeah, and, then, and, and, and put your mouth and then put yourself in a plane and travel. That's right, Deke. Yeah, what? That's right, Deke. Let them know. Oh, gosh. Go ahead. <laughs> Contrary to other African peoples, such as also the neighboring Igbo and southwestern Nigeria. Or the Lemba, them too. Go ahead. The Yoruba never claim an Israelite identity. But the Yoruba also Nigeria. Go ahead. Bastin, 1921, 411-23. Hodgkin. Hodgkin, 1975-218-F. Yeah. Although what? Although several authors pointed out the existence of Israelite customs among the Yoruba, they saw them as side effects of Israelite influences and not as the result of... No, that's, that's all. But they're saying is that the result of a direct... Yeah, again, of a direct uh, cultural... A direct cultural transfer through migration from the northern kingdom of, of Israel. Israel. See, that's where it came from. So go to the map now, 581. Is your family line from Africa? My mother's from uh, Burundi. Oh, Burundi? Okay. Mm -hmm. Your father's Negro? Yeah, from Philly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Straight Negro. Fast from Philly. Yeah. All right, so look at the, let's look at the arrow here. Let's zoom in. Go over to the, uh, to the top right left. On top right, left. Top right. Yeah, you do got the Burundi features. Yeah, I hear that a lot. I don't even know what Burundi people look like. Wow. <laughs> just, just, but I just know he doesn't look normal shot, Judah took, Black. Took a shot in the dark. Just, I did. Wow. Right. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Well, go ahead. Blow it up. More, 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 more. people look That's like. as far as you can go. Move it over to the right. Let me look. Let me Google it. Right there. Next to you. Move it up some more. <laughs> more, more, more. As far as you can, as close you can go in. There you go. Come on, move it over. Go, go, go. Where's my internet? Right there. Okay, you see Nineveh, right? See that there? You see Assyria media. All right. You see Assyria media. You see Haran. You see Habor. That's where they placed us. You see the Euphrates River right there. The Euphrates River. We hopped in that. We hopped in that river. And we got liberty under the Persians. We stay in these lands. You see Euphrates right there. We hopped the Euphrates and sailed down. But I don't want that part. You have Babylonian in the bottom. You see Elam right there. That's Iran. Because media is upper Iran. Elam is, is uh, Iran itself. Elam. And Babylonia, right? Iraq. So you see Assyria, right? Assyria, Nineveh. Now go follow the arrow. This black arrow. Go down. In Assyria, um, we migrated from there. Go down. See Jerusalem. We ended up passing Jerusalem. We passed through Egypt. Some of us went southwest or southeast. We're going the other. So southwest is that way. Adudwa, Adudwa, a Syrian epoch ruler. He went that way towards, it says, Fezan. Go down. Tureg. Turegs are the ancient Hamites. Those are, those are indigenous Hamites. That's Canaan. That's who that is. Toreg. Those are ancient Hamites. It's not our people at all. Toregs. All right. Toregs, that's Ham. Hands down. Go down. And you have Gobir. And you see Hausa. See that there? You see uh some you see Hausa, Kanem Bornu right there, or Bornu Kanem. And you see Gigon, Yoruba. See? Where they came from? Now go to follow the other arrow. Go back to the right. Go go go. You yeah, go back to the right. And you go to Egypt. And go down that way. Go down this way. Yeah, you go. Southeast. They're going down that way. So we we went different routes. Ended up at the same place. Nubia, Darfur, then Kanem Bornu Empire, Lake Chad, and boom, right there. Go down. Yoruba again. See that? That's Northern Kingdom going there. That's, that's why most most um, um, so-called Cubans or Puerto Ricans, most of the slaves brought over there was, guess what? Yoruba. That's Northern Kingdom. What Yoruba means, I'll go into that next, I'll go into that next week, where the word comes from. I went over this before in that class. If you want a spoiler, 
Just watch America, Israel, Israel and African and the Americas in part one and part two. It's on IUIC TV, and it's also on YouTube. You can watch and spoil it for yourself and see where, where the word comes from. When I go into that whole um, um, article we're reading from now in proper detail, all right? Right now, I'm just kind of just jumping, jumping all around. You see River Niger, River Niger right there, a nigger right there, the river? Both sides, remember, um, Zephaniah 3 and 10? Okay, beyond the river Euphrates, beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, that's the Blue Nile, White Nile, Niger River, same thing. All right, well, not really, but, you know, they flow, they flow together, you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to wrap it up right now, wrap it up. And Lord's will next week, I will go into more detail on the article. Okay. All right. Hey, let's give Deacon another hand for that class. That class was amazing. All praise to the most high. Hey, Israel, you see where your funds are going. Deacon is able to get more and more books to bring out for all of Israel that we have more information on our hidden history. So, Israel, if you want to donate, donate on PayPal to iuic.philadelphia at israelunite.org. Once again, iuic.philadelphia at israelunite.org. Right, so to sum it up, I'm sorry, real quick, to sum it up, once again for y'all, I showed y'all historically how Israel, during, during Assyria, we went to, we was in India, all right, we were in India, we also went to China. During those captivities, during North, during a Syrian uprising, when they rose up, we fled there, and we, and we also got taken captive there, and we gained liberty. We went over to India, and also we also during the time we migrated into um, further into Africa, West Africa, Yoruba. All right, during that time, during the Assyrian captivity, we migrated. Well, we, we mig some of us migrated there during that time when they rose up. All right. During a, um, a certain oppression, we fled. Those of us who can make it, those of us who were able to make it um, or escape the hands of the Assyrians, we fled into that region there, West Africa, all right, um, and became the Yoruba, the Yoruba, and some of us fled into areas of India, and they became the Dalits later on, Dalits, and then the, the, during the Persian Babylonian captivity, Babylonian captivity of Persia, that's your, uh, your CDs, all right? So we'll get into more detail of that, Lord's will, later on. So I'm, I'm, I don't want to sidebar, but I'm going to go into uh, the, the, the Yorubas only because that ties into the time frame of the Assyrians. That's why I'm going into that. All right? All praise to the Most High. Yes, sir. All praise to the Most High. Also, don't forget to, uh, if you missed the last chapters or you want to go over them again, you can go on Our Hidden History YouTube radio, uh, sorry, Our Hidden History radio YouTube channel. You can like, subscribe, comment, and rewatch all the classes that Deacon did um, to catch up and to refresh. We always need those, need those refreshers. Also, uh, don't forget to donate to the Booster Club, which is iuic.fundraising at israelunite.org. You can donate on PayPal, Israel. Uh, I think that's it, uh, Deacon. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, though, yeah, don't forget to follow IUIC TV. You can download the app and watch Deacon live, as well as catch up on the classes that Deacon was just talking about, which was, what was the class called again, Deacon? Is Israel and... Oh, oh Israel, and Israel and Africa and the Americas. Israel and Africa and the Americas. That's part one and two. So make sure you go, go ahead and watch that if you want to get a little sneak peek to next week. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I think that's it. I'm going over the exact same thing. Whatever's in that video, I'm going to repeat the exact same thing next week. <laughs> yeah, I know, Cap, is you, you want to say? No, I'm going to control uh, myself. Forget, uh, Captain Joel Bookford. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Cap, is right. Yeah, Cap, we're getting out, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. Roy. Israel, time's been hard. <laughs> time's know. a struggle. So... Aside from times been rough, times been hard, it's been struggle. If you see my books, it's been depleted, it's been destitute of knowledge. If you'd like to donate to the Captain Joel Book Fund and bless me, Israel. I need help. <laughs> you can donate and put in the description box Captain Joel Book Fund. Help me. You can feed me knowledge. <laughs> For one dollar a day. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> Good to have you back, Cap. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a minute, man. I know. Yeah, well.
also want to congratulate Catman on our UIC uh, New Jersey. Oh, I'll praise the most high for that. I'll praise the most high for that. He had a nightmare. He couldn't sleep. <laughs> We're together. All praises. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, it. So, shalom, most high Christ bless. And until next week, see you then. Shalom, shalom most high Christ shalom, bless. Most high Christ bless. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Enemies are teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know history, 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 yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back for sure when I when I let the truth go. We can let them know my people.